हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू सीजन टू ऑफ एवरी थिंग बिट साइड फ्रॉम अट सी एन एंड टूडे लेट्स टेक अ डीप डाइव इन साइड द बिट्स पिलानी प्लेसमेंट्स स्पेसिफिकली द स्टेटिस्टिक्स देर इज़ ऑलरेडी अ वीडियो ऑन द चैनल वेर आई टॉक अबाउट द ओवरऑल सिनारियो एंड वॉट ब्रांच एलिजिबिलिटी एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स आर बट हियर लेट्स टेक अ डाइव इन टू द स्टैटिस्टिक्स ऑफ of of the situation about ctc about branch eligibility and try to draw some insights from uh, some concrete data so i just need to give you a few disclaimers uh, and some uh, general points so the first thing is that this data is not officially sourced uh, bits never releases any placement related data so the data that you are going to see uh, has been uh, worked on uh, by some of my uh, very hard working juniors and they have helped me uh, compile in compiling this data and this is completely unofficial so just have have in mind that there might be some errors uh, in the data um apart from that uh, this is only one semester data Uh, so uh, try not to generalize too much i will also try, uh, try to give that uh, warning uh, again and again where we should not uh, generalize too much on um, just one single semester data um, because something like placements are especially volatile and uh, uh, it it might happen that uh, some companies come in one semester and they do not come in the next semester so one semester data is very very less uh, to actually draw significant or very very reliable conclusions but again the limitation is that there is no official data so uh, compiling uh, data for multiple semesters is just not possible at least in a reliable manner um the other caveat is that this is the data for the second semester so in bits um, or yeah so so in bits um, we have the system of like first semester placements and second semester placements um the thing is that the first semester placements are generally better so those people who have a good cg throughout their college uh, up till the placement semester uh, they uh, go they uh, go in the first semester for their placements and in the second semester for their practice school while those who do not have such a good cg uh, they choose to uh, take practice school in the first semester and go for placements in the second semester so generally in the first semester the there are more companies uh there are uh, the ctcs offered are higher so the picture that we will be getting from this data is kind of the worst case scenario uh, by which i mean that this is the second semester data so um some of the companies which usually come in the uh, first semester would not be there and uh, uh even the ctcs might be a little bit on the lower side because some of the like the best or the highest paying companies are not there so the averages uh, would be affected in that way so um the analysis uh, presented here is quite basic uh, some averages some minimum maximum kind of calculations some percentages ratios um i would like uh, you guys to suggest some more um i just picked these because these are the most uh, frequently asked questions and also i had a very limited amount of time uh, to uh, uh, shoot this video and basically do the analysis it's like um, 1 am right now and i'm just shooting this because i think that um this can be very helpful uh, for you to uh, decide your preferences as a deadline is tomorrow uh, so i'm just i just want to uh, shoot it off um uh, this video um even though <coughs> the analysis is quite basic and i might do a part 2 in the future um if i can get uh, either more data or if you guys can suggest uh, some more insights um as to uh, what to uh, you know uh, what what else uh, what other conclusions that you might want from from the data um also just one last thing that uh, um any time if we are dealing with things like averages maximum etc um they they are not very reliable because um one outlier one one exceptionally high ctc will drive the average higher or uh, uh 
uh, other things like that so um, just keep those things in mind that aggregates are always uh, like problematic and i could uh, the as i said the analysis is very basic so it will also suffer from those uh, those defects so coming to the results uh, the total number of companies that were on campus uh, in semester 2 uh, the data is for 2018 19 uh, so in in uh, total number of companies is 90 and uh generally as i said there are more companies in semester 1 so you can expect around 110 companies the total number of jobs offered were around 389 and uh, that's it um just uh, kidding so let's just get started on the basic data uh, examination so here you see the data that we have uh, this is for 2018 19 second semester so here i have the data for the company name uh, the profile that the company is offering how many offers uh, were made uh, which were the eligible streams and which is the sector i also have the ctc data but i have it uh, whitened out um, because of certain confidentiality issues that can come between the college and the company and i did not want to get into those complications and basically just to try to have like keep the relations between bits and those companies intact uh, i have just whitened out the data i have that data and uh, i have used it in all the further calculations so that is not not a problem so if you want you can see um, as a basic examination like some big names like amazon is there psus are coming uh, to bits now um, for a3 and a8 uh, the branch codes are below uh, we'll get into that uh, so and uh, mostly you can see like software profiles some other profiles are also there a lot of companies are uh, allowing all be degrees um, so that is good and um, you will see a lot of big names um, and some will be missing for example in this list uh, microsoft is not there so microsoft did not choose to come in that sem microsoft generally um, comes in the first semester so that is not here but still like amazon flipkart um tower research tower research being a huge huge uh, highly paying company with which is very selective and basically did not even select any student uh, that is also there um the highest paying company was bny melon and it had just one offer so these things happen uh, companies come they don't select anybody because they are they have so selective criteria other companies have like 27 selections a single company 20 selections in a single company so these these kind of things happen so this is like the basic area uh, idea of things um uh, you can basically you can just pause the video and maybe see i cannot unfortunately share this data um and i don't think that's a good idea to put all of this data in the public domain so now let's just get into some of the analysis that i have done on this data so first is um the breakdown by sectors so the sum here represents um how many jobs uh, were offered in that sector so for example it this has for example this row of it has 0 this row of it has 9 so 0 plus 9 9 and similarly summing over all it so that would give the number for it which is 196 so out of 389 uh, 196 jobs uh, were it jobs and uh, so similarly i have done for all sectors i have uh, taken the average ctc uh, from all sec uh, from all sectors and i have also uh, taken the maximum ctc from all sect uh, from all, from all sectors sorry <coughs> um similarly i have done the same calculations branch wise um the branches are as per pilani because the data is for pilani campus um so you will probably not see ec which is in uh, goa and hyderabad and uh, if you see again the sum here represents um uh, not the actual number of jobs that were offered to students but the number of jobs that student of that stream were eligible for so for example if you see here for iocl which is a psu uh, for this uh, job uh, a2 a3 and a4 which is uh, civil triple uh, e and mechanical these branches were eligible and each of them and uh, they had six uh, vacancies or they they ended up offering six jobs so uh, so let's say we are talking about a3 
uh, which is triple e so triple e if if i'm uh, ca calculating that number for triple e i will check uh, all the uh, triple e all the uh, uh, jobs or all the companies for which triple e is eligible for example all uh, this will be counted uh, this a3 will be counted this a3 will be counted and such the sum of number of jobs offered is what i have uh, taken here similarly average is just the average ctc calculated in a similar manner maximum is the maximum ctc calculated in a similar manner and the percentage so this is an interesting number where what i have calculated is uh, out of the total 389 offered jobs um how many of the jobs were the students of that stream eligible for so uh, we often say that um, most companies allow triple e and cs most it companies allow triple e and cs uh, students or circuit branches and cs students so uh, this is sort of that number just not only for it jobs just for, from among all jobs and you can see the maximum ctc is kind of polluted here because the maximum ctc that was offered was uh, 55 lakhs and uh, um, I, as i showed you this was just one student so don't you know make too much of that number but um, all the streams were eligible uh, for this uh, uh, job profile that's why this this maximum is kind of polluted and it was from the banking sector so here that is that that has not happened but here all the branches were eligible so that's why you see that um uh, this 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 average is kind of polluted so now i have just plotted these uh, for easy reference so if you can see the maximum uh, offered as we just saw was for the banking sector um the average is again pulled up because of um the ctc of the uh, uh, the max ctc basically so if you see that uh, the banking and finance followed by it is the max and average Um, and for the other sectors, the codes are mentioned here. You can pause the video, take a look if you want. Um, so the leaders again are IT and uh, banking finance. You can see uh, manufacturing and mechanical has a decently good uh, uh, chart here. Um, the axis are this is uh, the twenty lakh mark. So accordingly, you can evaluate. You can pause it and check. Similarly, this is the number of jobs by sector. um this is actually a better picture than the above one um this kind of justifies or uh, tells you why the kind of it hype is there um because the number of jobs are like uh, huge immense like no other uh, uh, no other uh, sector even comes close um, so again you can pause here you can check uh, with the legend um banking and finance if you can see even though it has the max average in ctc the number of jobs is very very less um similarly for consulting um others you can just take a look uh now coming to the ctc part i have not uh, plotted the maximum ctc because it's just polluting it's the same among same among um all branches so that's why i have left it out um also uh, these uh, don't be fooled by these axes uh, these axes are starting at 10 lakhs i uh, don't think that uh, chemical and all these are very low low paid branches i will talk about this a little bit more uh, in the next graph so um, if you see the average ctc um, pretty much same for um, uh, a7 which is computer science and a3 which is triple e um, these are again the averages this is just for one semester so please keep all those things in mind do not general over generalize things um, in some semesters even a8 which is um, uh, um, electronics and instrumentation eni uh, this branch uh, can have a higher CT, uh, average ctc than a3 which is triple e so all those things matter this is just a very general picture a very basic picture uh, just to give you some idea about things and again the percentage eligibility by branch out of the total jobs offered how many number of branches uh, were you eligible for so if you can see um, for chemical the number is around 70% same for civil um the highest number of uh, jobs uh, job eligibility percentage was for uh, uh, triple e this is because of one or two psus uh, that were there um like gale iocl they did not take uh, a7 ca students uh, they took a3 uh, students and similarly that is that's the reason why a8 is also higher than cs because um, there were some uh, psus which took 
uh, A3 and A8 but not CS and uh, there were some PSUs uh, which took only A3 and not A8 which is ENI so again that is why this is the highest and again this will change um, uh, from semester to semester. I have a small note to tell you here that I, I that I have written as lesson here. So whenever you are seeing graphs, um, uh, just take a look at what the axes are. Um, here you you looking at this graph, you will feel that okay, manu is so less. Um, it is less than half of what um, A3 is. So if I actually uh, change this to uh, the initial plot and I do not modify the axis then you will see that it's not the case it's nowhere um, <coughs> it's not half so it's um, uh, it's somewhere more than half but like the difference is not that drastic so uh, if anytime you see any graphs um, uh, just try to look at the axis um, because um, that can help you from that can that can prevent you from uh, getting cheated a lot of times because um, um, maybe some there are some uh, political parties um, uh, who can m manipulate these graphs for you or uh, when you uh, when you are trying to make some investments uh, so in any financial charts you can see like this kind of manipulation goes on so you have to be careful so this is just a small life lesson um, but overall yes uh, so this was um, what all I had to say um, the branch eligibility and all those things. So I hope that this helps you in uh, making a good decision. I will just pause here for a second so that you can take a look if you want. Um, and yeah, so I, I hope that helps. Please suggest if there is any other analysis that you would like uh, for me to carry out um, uh, based on this data. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know of your doubts. You can put them in the comments. Um, I'm always very active in the comments. And finally, thanks. Bye bye.